Hey, what's up, y'all? Hold on. Let me take the sunnies off. I want to thank you eye to eye for checking out Sway's Universe. And I appreciate it. We got so many videos we want you to see. So push that notification button for me. Do it now and enjoy the video. Peace. This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust on your eyes. My name. Yo, we got T.Y. on the line from Dallas. What up, T.Y.? Good morning. Hey, T.Y. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning, family. Good morning. Good morning. Salute to y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Every morning. Thank y'all. Oh, thank you, T.Y. You're a citizen, brother. Yeah. Sway in the morning. Hey, man, we I got Kevin it. Frazier, appreciate man. It. We got our brother here. Kevin yep, Frazier is here. Kevin, Kevin Frazier. Frazier. Hey, what's hey, up? What's down up? goes Frazier. I knew that was coming. I sensed it. <laughs> but don't worry. I do have you. don't got all the answers, Sway. Oh, damn. Oh, he well, got, got you. Kevin. Okay. Kev came ready this morning, okay. man. All right. Go, go ahead, T.Y. All right, Mr. Frazier, sir, yes, sir, good morning. How you doing today? So good. All right, outstanding, outstanding. Hey, I just wanted to comment on uh, what you were saying to Sway about his daughter being in college and how some cat that's out there that might be doing dirt. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sway, the man talking real talk. He's talking <laughs> business, baby. Hey, I got a youngin' that's coming up. She ain't in school yet, but... Uh, I, I, I dread them days, man. I'll be thinking, yeah. like, oh, my God, it's coming. So what do I do? Do I pack the faux faux or do I just keep it in the closet? What do I do? Well, you know, I, what I did is with my daughter mm -hmm. is from an early age, I just spoke honestly, transparently, directly, mm -hmm. and I went to uh, extremes, and I, I based it off my own personal experiences. So I, I gave her the whole truth. That's all you can do. Mm -hmm. But do you find yourself looking back on things you did and you were like, oh, that was wrong. What is wrong with Kev this morning? That was, that was wrong. Kev, you're working on me. No, I mean, <laughs> but I'm just saying, do you look back and you say, like, oh, I wish that I could go back and just say sorry to I her? Th I think most men do. Like, yeah. there's a yeah, lot yeah, of, yeah. Um, and I wasn't a bad guy, but even <laughs> the good guys did right. bad things. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think back of some of the women or that I, I probably didn't treat properly the best I could have. You know, what's interesting is Entertainment Tonight is a show that is watched mainly by women. Mm -hmm. And you get to see a perspective. You get to see life through a woman's perspective. Mm -hmm. And it changes you drastically. I came from the most man-centric place at ESPN. And now I'm talking all women. And whether it's clothes or how they look at other women or what they see in stars and all that kind of stuff, it changes you. And yeah. you're like, okay, I got to stop for a second. Mm -hmm. And and the first thing that I realized is the way we so we judge women so harshly. Yeah. Like we don't embrace, you know, it's like we're so harsh cuz as men, mm -hmm. we say some crazy we stuff. We say some crazy stuff. Right? And so it's changed. It really did change me. It brought me around to a different perspective and I hope I can kind of inject that into my boys so that it's they grow up. It's funny that you say that with things that change and embracing cuz Carol Alt was in the news today talking about, you know, former supermodel mm -hmm. and saying oh, yeah. how she's so glad finally that the fashion industry has embraced diversity. You know, it's the first season, really, that if you're a size zero model, you really weren't even hired mm -hmm. because they wanted to have real women come down the runway. Well, have you noticed that also there's been so many people from the music industry? Like, I feel like rap is taking over this um, fashion week. Oh, but God, yeah. I also look at, you know, it's right that people said enough is enough. Mm -hmm. And the average woman is not a size zero. The mm -hmm. average woman, your mother, your sister, your daughter is a size 10, mm -hmm. you know? And so, and that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. and, and we get mixed up when we start looking at these commercials and everything. It's like, just turn for a second and look at the woman you're sitting next to or the woman you're raising yeah. or, or the woman so you're going to deal with and understand how it must feel for them. Yeah. Mm. Imagine if they was just sexy dudes all day long, you know, like mm -hmm. looking at you with your shirts off. <laughs> And and your and your wife was looking at you oh, like you your wife was looking at you like, what's up? Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Can you get like that right now? And That's you're like, no, I can't. I'm not, gym, I'm not going to the gym, dog. I'm not going. I'm not making it to the gym. Kevin, but I love you. Kevin Frazier's here, ladies and gentlemen. We're we having an episode of entertainment tonight. Right here. <laughs> this is happening on Sway in the morning. Matter of fact, let's get to it, man. Reporting on the latest celebrity news, scandals, and occasional sex tape. Oh. It's the Celebrity Wire on Sway in the Morning. While we have Kevin Frazier here, just as he does every day on Entertainment Tonight, celebrating their 36th season, the originals, the originators, 
Uh, we're going to get his commentary on some of these stories. DB yeah. just pulled up. DB. Hey, hey, I got go. a couple things here. I think maybe we'll start up with some real he- hot and heavy in the press right now. It's XXX Tentacion, rapper. He's got his new album, 17, which just dropped, and it's number two on the Billboard charts. Well, uh, he's got a deposition from his ex-girlfriend, who uh, we reported about this yesterday. She claims that he abused her physically, sexually, uh, mentally as well. He broke her phone because she was uh, r- rhyming lyrics from a-, a friend of his on a song. He made her choose what barbecue cleaner or a Barbecue, barbecue pitchfork that he wanted to use on her sexually on her vagina our thing was do you separate the artists from what they did in their personal life do, do you do you not judge whatever they put out you know the content music movies what do you think about that care not at all i think the man is the man mm-hmm. and who you are is who you are and if you if you are doing those things then you are connected to those things and you have to live with them forever and you should live with them forever mm-hmm. because here's the thing Musically, you should be speaking to people about what you feel and how you live, but that can't, that's not all of us, yeah. you know? And mm-hmm. it, it's weird how that message gets twisted, like a small minority can speak for the majority, and it mm-hmm. shouldn't be that way, because that is not how you treat women. Yeah, that is not. And by but the way, we, when you get to jail, you find that out. Yes, indeed. But you, you find know, that out. And in all fairness to him, um, he hasn't been tried in the court of law. No, it's a, you know, no, no. Look, those the, are accusations. Yeah, those, those are, are accusa- accusations. Yeah. Those are some accusations. Yeah. though. those, those are, are some some right. real serious, crazy, extreme accusations. It's a hundred and forty-seven page deposition. Mm-hmm. Is that, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> that that's not when you're just like you know I'm mad at you. I'm gonna throw some charges on you. And let me ask you this: a story like that would that make entertainment tonight, or do, do you have to be a bigger artist? You have to be a bigger artist because okay. we're going to deal with the bigger, you know, yeah. and this is what, and it's funny you say that because people all the time will say, well, why didn't you talk about that? And I was like, well, because that other 20 minutes we were sitting with Will Smith or some of the other Ooh. biggest <laughs> artists in the world. And I'm not dissing you. I'm just saying this is real. I'm like, I'm yeah. like, this is real. Yeah. This is the reality. This is the reality. Okay, go ahead, DB. All right, we some, got him. We got some, him some, some lighter. Jared Leto, we all know mm-hmm. him. Uh, mm-hmm. He played Joker recently in Suicide mm-hmm. Squad. And he's, he's becoming he's gonna be, notorious. He's going to be great in Blade Runner, by the way. Blade that's exactly comes. the story yeah, that, I'm bringing up. About. Yep. Yep. Suicide Squad, there were stories that he sent uh, dead pigs to his co-stars. He sent a live rat to Margot Robbie. Mm-hmm. And now he's playing this character uh, in Blade Runner 2049 as Neander Wallace, who was blind. Mm-hmm. Now, for the character, he put in contact lenses that actually made him blind. Oh. The director had this to say. He couldn't see at all. He was walking with an assistant very slowly. It was like seeing Jesus walking into a temple. Everybody became super silent and there was a kind of a scary moment. Everyone was in awe. It was so beautiful and powerful. I was moved to tears. He stayed in character the entire time that he was shooting Blade Runner. There, he doesn't break character mm-hmm. and that's his big mm-hmm. thing. And um, Everyone is raving about his performance. They're saying that the whole movie is going to be fantastic. Um, Ryan Gosling. Uh, Ryan yeah. Gosling. Harrison Ford. And Harrison Ford and all those guys. Everyone is raving about the movie. The stuff they did at Comic-Con was amazing. And so, you know, from what I've seen so far, it looks great. But Jared Leto, I mean, he just believes in his craft. Like, you look, go back to Di- Dallas Buyers Club yeah, and yeah. look what he did in that. Yeah. Um, the guys who um, put that movie Movie together, Alcon Entertainment. Shout out to Broderick Johnson, mm-hmm. a brother who's doing big things and 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 put that movie together. Um, he is so excited about what is going to happen with that, and I'm excited. I can't wait to see it. Hey, do you guys ever you ever play pranks on your co-hosts on um, Entertainment Tonight? All the time. You know what's funny, yeah. and this is what it goes back to that whole thing with you and Kanye. Um, <laughs> well, how did that come? No, <laughs> but I'm just telling you. I'm just okay. telling you. I was I was so like. It was our like moment of relief. If we're like taping and things are going long, and um, we we disagree about something, Brooke Anderson used to do that all the time. She'd have the guys in the control room play you. So all of a sudden, I'd be like, Brooke, I don't even think that's right. And she would just look up, and then all of a sudden, on the big screen, would be like, You ain't got all the answers, Sway. You ain't got all the answers. <laughs> it was it's crazy. Like that's our thing. You're a study piece. Right? I was, that's our thing. Oh, that's amazing, man. Thanks, Kev. I'm glad no, I no, could be a part of that. No, you, know? <laughs> you, are, you are a part of our show more than you know. Okay, more great. That's you good know. To, entertainment tonight, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. Throw another one at him real quick. All right. Uh, let's see. James Franco. He's currently starring in this new show, The Deuce, on HBO, which is about the rise of the porn industry in the mm-hmm, 70s. Mm-hmm. Well, he recently spoke to uh, you, uh, Us Weekly, and he said that he no longer watches porn. 
<laughs> he watched porn to do research for the role, but he saw this documentary called Hot Girls Wanted that Rashida mm-hmm. Jones did, mm-hmm. and it made him have some sort of a moral obligation about not watching it because there's unregulated capitalism in today's world, especially in the porn industry, and a lot mm-hmm. of these girls go unprotected and they don't have any form of you know insurance or anything. There's a union, but you know mm-hmm. most of them they make it to the top and the rest just kind of fall by the wayside. Would you stop? Watching porn because of a moral <laughs> conflict, Cal. <yeah. laughs> listen, listen. You know that everyone hits that point where you have that moral conflict. Yeah. <laughs> um. And and then you also know that, like you know, as the young men grow up, they always are going to dabble and stick their hand in there. But you try to explain to them, especially with the rise of the internet and everything. Yeah. It 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 really does exploit women the way like women are getting exploited. And I get what James Franco is saying, but at the same time. You think he really stopped? Hell no. no Come man. on. Come on. He's porn. not. He porn hub stop. ambassador. Right. He's right. Like, he, he's got Can it on we speed talk now. about the porn union? Like, what do you mean? No, you didn't know. No, you didn't know that? You didn't know. No, no, they got seriously. A porn union. There was a union, yeah. and then, like, as as the work moved away from the valley, like, the valley was the hub. Okay. And they really it gave health care mm-hmm. to um, folks and tried to regulate what testing. was going on, testing mm-hmm. everything. And then, um, you know, things have moved all around the world in different places and with the internet and doing it cheaper. There, The union is not taking care of people. There's, you know, it's gone outside the union. Wow. Yeah, Heather. They need protection too. Ken in LA, what up, man? I'm Say not hello judging. to Ken. I'm just saying. <laughs> you felt some judging. Y'all felt away. something. I heard you coming. What up, Ken? Say what up to Kevin Frazier, man. I, What's up? How you doing, Kevin Frazier? How's so it going, good. man? So good. Um, it's it's funny we're talking about um big stars. Kevin Frazier gave me one of my uh, first interviews in uh, in Hollywood, um, and it kind of it kind of taught me a lot about Hollywood. It was uh, NAACP Image Awards, and I got a, a, a Emmy. I mean, a, um, a nomination for um, a show. I think it was The Office. And I had my trophy out backstage, and Kevin goes, "Hey, brother, come over here and talk to me, man. Let's do an interview." I was like, "All right, cool." I walk over there, and right when I got there, he asked me a question. Then, then um, Jennifer Hudson came. He goes, "Oh, brother, I can't talk to you right now." <laughs> <laughs> That, that was the best lesson you could learn. <laughs> Listen the best, to the best lesson, and I don't think I've been back since. I've been I've won a bunch of others, but I don't think I've been back since. Listen, first of all, and, and then, no disrespect, okay? I want to tell you, no disrespect. So, um, but I learned that it was a hard lesson for me to learn when I uh, got to entertainment tonight because I would be on the red carpet and I wanted to talk to everybody and the producers. They, you know, someone would come along and I'm talking to them. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm talking, I'm having a conversation, we're connecting, and all of a sudden here comes J Lo and they would literally like grab the person and run them out the way, grab them, push them out the way and be like, we got to get J-Lo. We got to get you. And I was like, man, wow. it's like that. It's so it wasn't disrespectful. But, yeah. I was just like, I can't let Jennifer Hudson walk by because if I miss her yeah. and my competitor has her, uh-huh. that's not a good moment for me. But bro, if you just back up for a second, I'll bring you back in. Okay? I'll bring you back in. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. back up for a second. I'll bring yeah. you back in. Yo, Ken, you should have backed up, Ken. And I would have brought you back no, in. I totally understand it. I totally understand it. And and, and my other my other question no, was. No, that's um, only one, Ken. You get your <laughs> citizen, Ken, out of there. Damn, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yo J Lo just walked up the carpet. Gotta let you go, man. All right, brother. All right, man. Well, well, Kevin Frazier, man. Oh, the, the time goes. That's for thirty minutes. The, the, the was time goes. Yeah, yeah. I gotta go. Yeah. Oh, man. Man. Don't you got other interviews and yeah, stuff? Yeah, but I mean, they, you know, I mean it's so downhill from coming. here. I was so excited. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I always tell y'all every time I come here, I still have Heather's CD. You know that? You still got it? Do you got I it on you? I still, I, mean, I don't carry car. it on the He's road. Not in his oh, okay, car. He was okay. Us I, the, I always keep it in my car. We always see Kevin at the Super Bowl. That's why it's so it crazy that he's here. I yeah. love when Kev. AJ, oh. me, when we all get together and we're working some carpet or something, yeah. Yeah. you know, we all come. We always take that picture, you know, and it's like the Mount Rushmore. But it's dope to see you guys, like, you know, in the same way we watch and we see things. There's You talked about your children and, and what yeah. you're trying to explain to him is the same way there are young men sitting home on a computer watching Sway, watching AJ, watching Kevin yeah. Frazier and saying, how can I do that? I want to do that one day. So it's good that you guys mm-hmm. are out here and that we see you the same way everybody else see you. It's a testament to the work that you've done. Oh, well, I appreciate that, Heather. Like I said, I still had an album. I still got it. You still okay. got the album? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got album. Kevin Frazier, man, how can people reach you on social media, man? Oh, at Kevin Frazier. It's always at Kevin Frazier on uh, Instagram, on 
uh, Twitter. Yep, Hit I'm me up Kevin everywhere Twitter. on Facebook. Yep. Everything. You know, I'm I'm here. Continue success, brother. No doubt. Always Continue good, success. man. Right. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Y'all, man. Will y'all answer mention? the phone when I call? I, sometimes when I'm riding to work, I call. I can't we'll, even get through. We'll, we'll give you the. Um, I can't give me the hotline. Yeah, I'm give you the hotline. <laughs> All right, I'm mad. I'm but, in the car. Like I wanted to say something. <laughs> I know the truth. But if Jay Hud calls, we're gonna put you on hold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kevin Frazier, ladies and gentlemen, we got George St. Pierre is going to join us. He got a big fight coming up uh, right now. Go to DJ Wonder on Instagram. He is live in the studio. You can actually see Kevin Frazier on his Instagram. Yep. If you go to DJ Wonder, you can see the nice blazer he has on. But yeah. down shirt, he's much better dressed than I ever be. <laughs> um, but I'm inspired by him. All right, it's the one and only DJ Wonder. Wonder. It's sway in the morning only on Shade 45.